What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkfix.net inside of Dreamweaver CC. This is the most recent version of Dreamweaver, and uh, I like it a little, and then I hate it. Okay, I am an ASP Classic developer, as you can tell by all of my recent files here. They're all .asp files. Well, it seems that Dreamweaver has dropped a lot of its support for ASP as well as ASPX, which is uh, ASP.net. So there, uh, okay, for an example, let's go on to a new one. Click on blank page, and the only options that we're given for any type of server-side work is PHP. Okay, well, I don't use PHP, and a lot of people that use Dreamweaver don't use PHP. So why did Adobe remove ASP Classic and ASP.NET from their page types? It's just, in my opinion, it's friggin' stupid. Okay, so you can come over here to Preferences, and you can come over here to File Type Editors, and you can drop this down, and you can choose ASP, and then you can choose to make uh, Dreamweaver open it on its own as an as associated itself to open it up. And then you can add in the, the um, .aspx, and then come over here, click on the plus, Browsing to the drive where you have um, Dreamweaver at, and then choose it, and then it makes it the primary. Click apply and close. And so, but also, if you look there, it says please choose the file types to associate with Dreamweaver. So, I'm used to using Dreamweaver 4, that's what I've been using for I don't know how long. And uh, whenever it first opens, it would give you an option and, and it would have like eight options to choose to associate Dreamweaver with these different types of file types. However, you're only given four options, PHP being one of them. I mean, it's bad enough there are, that hosting providers want to shove PHP down our throats. But now we've got Adobe, which I've got to say, man, I love Adobe products. I've been using Adobe products for many years now. And to have them just flat right out, just say, you know something, screw the Windows server type people, we're not going to work with them anymore, is, is flat right out bull. And so, but anyway, uh, let's get back over here. Let's go ahead and open up an ASP Classic page. Okay, we're going to open up this one, and it says, would you like to preview using the local source instead? If you choose yes, this is what you get. You get all the code right here. It shows you all the blasted code. I mean, it's a joke. So, close out of that, open it back up. Whenever it asks you, would you like to preview using the local source instead, choose no. That right there will allow you to work in your ASP Classic and most likely your ASP.NET projects without seeing the source code bleeding through the window here so i mean i got their attention on the adobe lightroom issue with the installer maybe i can get their attention on this one bring back your support for asp and asp.net make it so that people like myself are happy continuing to use your products because this right here, this annoyance, this aggravation that I'm having to put up with is going to make me dump the Creative Cloud Dreamweaver part of it and just go back to using Dreamweaver uh, CS4, which is what I've been using since CS4 came out. It's my favorite one. I mean, I don't like using Dreamweaver to code my pages. I hand code everything. The main reason why I downloaded this is to help me work on mobile apps. That's the only reason. But I understand that CS6 also has the mobile app in it. So I might end up going and jumping onto the CS6 and working with it. Alright, Wayne Baron here with my rant on the Dreamweaver CC Creative Cloud removing support for ASP and ASP.NET. And for all you people out there that say that even Microsoft no longer supports ASP Classic, they don't support it no more, as in they don't do no more 
updates to it, but it's still in their servers. Only thing you gotta do is enable it, just like you enable ASP.NET. So it's always gonna be with the Microsoft Windows servers. It's just up to you to enable it. So Adobe, do your customers a big favor. For all of the Windows users out there, bring back the support for ASP Classic and ASP.NET. All right, bye-bye.